Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to go over all the bosses in Tilapo and all the legendaries that you drop. Basically, where you can get every single legendary. And as you can see, this is my page of legendaries. I have quite a few, but there's still a lot that I have yet to found, especially from bosses, that I really want to show you. So first we're going to go over the original seven legendaries that were from Potco that... If you get all seven in Tilapo, it's like a really high prestigious thing. <laughs> and there are five limited legendaries from Hallowed Woods. Well, there's actually six, but one of them's from the Winter Event. Silver Striker is actually from the Winter Event. And then I have two out of the five legendaries that are from the Hallowed Woods Event. Dark Whisper and Devil's Claw right here. And then there are actually three others. Soul Shadow, the Soul Weaver Doll, and then you have... The Storm Spear, which is a legendary grenade. I'm not going to show you guys those because, like, I don't have them and they're very difficult to find. At least to find a picture of. But you guys get those. There's five from the Howled Woods event, and then Silver Striker is from the... So besides those, now we're going to go over the original seven, and you guys can see here, here's two of them. <laughs> Lost Sword and Silver Freeze are two out of the seven, and these are probably the easiest legendaries to find, I'd say. You can get them from basically anywhere I think. Sailing, you can get them from any boss, any random enemy. And then you have the original five, which I have three of these. I have the Emerald Curse, Behemoth Blade, and World Eater Blade, and I also have a Dupe Behemoth and a Dupe Emerald. And then you have Thunderspine and Abyss, of course, and these original five, original seven, can actually... Well, the original five, they can come from any random enemy on Tormenta, so any of these guys any of these guys can drop them, they usually come in skulls, and you can also get them from any random enemy on Raven's Cove as well, so the ghosts can drop them, a lot of people get legendaries from South Idol. South Idol does have gray enemies now though, so that's kinda, that kinda sucks. <laughs> So that's where the original seven come from. Now for the boss legendaries. First up is Sapphire Curse, and that you will get from this guy right here, Jimmy Legs. <laughs> Found in Tormenta right around this area, you can find Jimmy Legs, he'll drop you Sapphire Curse, blue, um, legendary saber. It is a legendary curse, so that's always fun. The second legendary curse in Tormenta is the Onyx Curse, and that can be found right around here where Crash is. So here's Crash for you. Crash is considered like the dark heart of Tormenta just because the amount of skulls he drops. Crash does end up dropping a lot of skulls, and I am currently... I don't have either of the uh, legendary sabers, but I am trying to get... Onyx and Sapphire right now. If you guys do remember, I spent 24 hours straight at Jimmy. Um, that was like a few weeks ago, and it was terrible. <laughs> As you can see, Crash drops a lot of skulls. Got one right off the bat there. But yeah, this is where Onyx Curse drops, and then we're going to go for the rest of the legendaries, or the rest of the boss legendaries on Tormenta, at least. Like I said, I'm missing a lot of um, legendaries from this game. I only have 10 unique, which, I mean, seems like a lot, but there's 23 total, so... Yeah, <laughs> I got about half of them. So right over here is Kolonico, and this is where you'll find um, Kraken Slayer, actually, which is the most powerful sword on Tormenta by far. It has Dutchman's Wrath, like, rank 4 or something. It is super OP. It also got a Bladestorm boost, 99 attack. It's it's insane on Tormenta, at least. So yeah, this is where Kolonico is in Forsaken Shallows, right over here. And then if you go over here a little bit, you find Polifco right up here. And this is where you get the Lost Blade of Leviathan. So Leviathan is also, like, a super OP sword. 108 attack. It is the most attack of any sword in the game. And its ability, Leviathan's Curse, is insane, dude. It does, like, 7 7,000 damage or something, and it's just like a, it charges just like Curse Thunder on Barracuda, so it charges really fast and does a lot of damage. It's a super OP sword. I mean, if it's a boss, because this is a level 52 boss, and as you can see, I'm just beating away at it. I do like zero damage. This thing would definitely kill me. Unless I use web, I might be able to kill it. <laughs> but yeah, you can loot it very efficiently if you got like 20 people with guns and stuff. It's very easy to kill. Just soloing it though, the best way to kill it is probably Mercer's. Or Seven Seas Repeater, who knows. And then the next boss legendary I'm going to show you is one that I actually have. Curse Blade of Yore. So Curse Blade of Yore, it's like, I, like it's a close competition between Yore and Thunderspine of which one's better. Thunderspine has two extra attack, but Yore has the Flourish Boost plus four, Blade Storm plus three. The rolling attack is a bit like, eh. <laughs> it doesn't do a lot of damage. 
Uh, the Yor actually has a thrust boost plus two as well. And then Thunderspine is plus three thrust. It doesn't have Flourish or Bladestorm boost, but it does also have Critical Strike. Critical Strike with a thrust boost, you land that in PvP. I've been hit by that. It takes like half your health, man. It's crazy. But yeah, this is where you can find Curse Blade of Yor, right at the Twins area right here. So the three bosses in Forsaken Shells, they're all like right next to each other. You got Kolonico right here, Polifico, and then Twins. The next place we're going to go is Raven's Cove. Now there are two bosses on Raven's Cove. One is Falberto Smasho and the other is Psychotriz. Now Falberto Smasho, that is by far the easiest place to get Silver Freeze because it only drops throwing knives, so it's very easy to loot there. He does have a lot of health and he does a ton of damage, but if you get like five people all with guns and start killing them, you can kill them in like a minute or so and you'll be able to get a silver freeze in about an hour or so, if not sooner. I got three silver freezes from Falberto Smasho during double loot and they were all found within 20 minutes, so it's very easy to loot one. And I'm not going to go all the way over to Falberto Smasho, but if you go right in here, you can see Cave of Lost Souls. There's a door over there, you can go under it and you'll be able to find them. It's a very small cave, it's really easy to find them. Now when you take the elevator shaft, you have uh, this glitch, which makes the ground up here invisible. And you got fire bats over here. I hear, the, I hear there's a challenge in Greed and Glory about killing fire bats who can find a uh, legendary from fire bats first. Might actually join in on that soon. Problem is they're green and gray tagged, so that would be very hard. <laughs> I've seen people get famed from them, like that's hard enough, man. But going in this cave over here, I'm going to show the map for you really quick. What you do is go over here and there's an elevator shaft after you complete the Raven's Cove quest. You'll be able to find it. Take the elevator shaft, go all the way over here to El Patron's Mine. And then once you're in El Patron's Mine, Psychotris is going to be right over here. South Idol is all the way down here at the bottom. And then Psychotris is all the way at the north. Let's hope Psychotris is actually here, because Psychotris has been missing on a lot of servers, and she is. Let's go. And the sword that Psychotris drops is Ruby Curse. I don't even think I went over that. Ruby Curse is the last of the four sabers. It's a red saber, 102 attack. It looks very nice, I'll, I'll say that. But yeah, this is where you can find the Ruby Curse. It's, yeah, it's pretty hard to find. It's one of the rare swords in the game, in my opinion. And speaking of one of the rare swords in the game, we will head, or rare swords, um, I should, this isn't a sword, but we're going to head to Tortuga. So if you head into Tortuga, you're going to head to, you're going to want to head to Misty Mire right over here. And this is another legendary that I actually have. Calypso's Radiance. Here is a uh, legendary doll. It is definitely more powerful than Soul Weaver, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't think there's really a competition there, because Soul Weaver only has 57 attack, and yeah, it's not as good as Calypso's Radiance. But you can find it from General Hex, and this is an interesting boss. Like, it's green tagged. Like, it's not that strong, but it drops one of the most powerful weapons in the game. At least the most powerful doll in the game. And it is very annoying to farm, let me tell you that. Because these guys, these, um level like 10s always come over to you and it like the um targeting thing is broken on here so they'll always come over to you and it gets really annoying looting here and it only took me 15 minutes to get this thing and i am so thankful for that spending a large amount of time here dude that would have been terrible oh my gosh but yeah this is where you can find calypso's radiance very good doll let me tell you but yeah this is the only legendary that you can find on tortuga besides lost sword and silver freeze of course now we are going to head to padres there are actually two legendaries you can find on padres and they both require pretty much the same directions we're gonna head into beckett's quarry right over here so once you're into Beckett's Quarry, the first legend we're going to go for is Beckett's Pistol. And you're going to find that at um, Neben the Silent. Neben the Silent is right over here in this area. I actually don't know if you guys can see my mouse, but I'll, I'll, I'll be walking over there anyways. I think I actually turned that off, <laughs> showing the mouse, so I'm sorry. But right over here is where Neben the Silent is, and this is where you're going to find Beckett's Pistol. Now, Neben the Silent isn't that bad. I think Remington actually has more health than him, so... That's uh, that's a positive for looking for Beckett's over Mercer's. And if you guys remember a while back, like a year ago or so, I decided to go for Beckett's and I failed miserably. I spent about three weeks there, got like a thousand skulls or something like that, something crazy. And then when I was about to give, give up, I got a lost sword. So yeah, that was pretty terrible. It really sucked and I'm going to need to get revenge on Neben eventually, but that is for the future.
But yeah, this is where you can find Beckett's pistol. It's a very good gun, very effective on Tormenta, and it doesn't have the faint ability, so that's also a positive. <laughs> Now let's head to the second legendary on Padres, which is Jack Sparrow's Blade. So if you head through El Sudoran and come out on Padres del Fuego again, you're going to want to head right over here, and this is where you're going to find Darkheart. Darkheart is a uh, very simple boss to farm. He doesn't have a lot of health. He dies very quickly. He dies in like three shots from Mercers, I think. Drops a lot of skulls as well, so it's very common to find Jack Sparrow's Blade. It's not that hard to loot, but you can find dupe Lost Swords and dupe Silver Freezes, so always be careful. Then the final Legendary, I think we've gone over everything now. Yeah, we've gone over everything pretty much. The final one we have to go for is Mercers. Now Mercers, I'd honestly say is the most popular Legendary weapon in the game. Like, everyone I talk to is always like talking about Mercers and how they want to go for it or whatever. It's always about Mercers. I'd honestly say it's the most popular legendary weapon in the game. It's not the easiest to find, I'll give it that. But yeah, if you sail to King's Head, we're going to want to go. And this is one I actually do have, by the way, Mercer's Pistol right there. The only downside to this one is the faint ability, which is totally not fun because it waves your pistol in the air for 5 seconds, takes up a lot of time. But anyways, <laughs> Mercer's Pistol, if you advance through King's Head, and I can't put it like a map up here, but just follow my lead, start from the docks, head this way. You're just wanna, gonna want to keep heading straight through King's Head until you get to Remington the Vicious, which is all the way over here. Now once you get through here, you're going to go over here, and you're going to want to go up these stairs. Finally, once you get up the stairs, Remington is going to be right here. And as you can tell by how I'm killing him, you can see that Remington has, I'd say it has a little bit more health than Be or uh, Neben. I'd definitely say it's more worth it to go for Beckett's because, I mean, the only other boss that you're going to use um, a pistol on besides, um, besides Tormenta bosses is Darkheart. So, I mean, like, there's really no point. Maybe Hex, I guess? But I'd honestly say it's more worth it to go for Beckett's. I kind of wish I got Beckett's instead of Mercer's now. And Beckett's is rare, I'd say. But yeah, this is where you can find Mercer's. I believe that's all 23 legendaries. Yeah, I just counted it in my head. That's all 23. You got Ruby Curse, Sapphire Curse, Emerald Curse, um, <laughs> a lot of curses, Onyx Curse. Those are all the Sabres, and then you got Yor, you got Kraken Slayer, you have Lost Blade of Leviathan. That's 7, you got Jack Sparrow's Blade, Beckett's Mercers, that's 10, Calypso's Radiance, and then you got the 6 um, Event Legendaries, so that's 7 more. There's 17. Then you got Lost Sword Silver Freeze, that's 19. And then you got Behemoth, World Eater Blade, Thunderspine, and Abyss. All 23. Yes, I can name all 23 of those off the top of my head. Call me a nerd at this game, I don't care, I've been playing for like... 12 years or so i don't know but yeah that is all 23 legendaries that's where you can find all 23 of them go hunt go hunt them i guess <laughs> i actually don't know if anyone's found all 23 yet i think someone i'm pretty sure i don't think anyone's found all 23 on one account that i'm like 99 percent sure of i know some people have found some on different accounts i'm pretty sure someone has all 23 on different accounts but no one's found them on one account i know mr jones is close he needs like two more from hollowed woods or something but yeah that's it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed that um you can fast forward through it if you want but yeah that's gonna be it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed that and i'll see you in the next one Bye.